Welcome, saddle fans. Wow, what a response. It has been wild to see everyone suddenly saddling their cats because of Moira, especially when people on farms have actually been doing this every day for centuries. I'm not a saddle expert, just an enthusiast, but I do want to answer a few questions and offer a few tips. First, I would recommend having a saddle custom built to your cat's measurements. However, if you are just getting started and you don't want to invest in professional supplies yet, a one-size-fits-all saddle is fine. You'll get best results with saddling if you start with a good solid loaf. You can saddle a cinnamon roll, but honestly, it's just a lot harder to ride after. In that situation, I'd suggest playing fine to the center of the roll instead. Now, if your filly won't take a saddle, you may want to look up the manual and do a little troubleshooting. You can find the model number of the beast simply by turning it over. <laughs> Once saddled, the cat is going to have a refractory period before they can be saddled again. If you are blessed with a successful saddle, I'd recommend using it immediately. They don't really keep, even if refrigerated. To everyone who has been asking whether Moira is a cat, a bird, or a horse, the answer is yes, and I hope that helps. Finally, a lot of you have been asking why saddle your cat, and I can totally understand that question. It does seem a little bit.